are you still working on Mellow Moon? Asks Ruler of Times. Uh, not really. I, it was one of those things like earlier I talked about advice for um, like not burning out. And that's my advice because that game was like a 40 to 60 hour projected game. And I spent a lot of time working on it. And it took a while to get as much as I had because I was like learning as I went. <laughs> so what I tell people, I actually got pretty far along. I'd say I was about 70 or 80 percent finished with the whole game by the time I took the job at EA. And I had it worked into the contract that I could keep it and continue to work on it as long as it didn't interfere with my work duties there. But when I left EA and decided to start working on it again, it's kind of like, have you ever played an RPG and you stop playing for a while and then you try to play again and get your bearings, but it's like super confusing. You're like, oh, how many tonics did I have? What did I do? What, what quest was I on? And what do I need to do next? And all that. Um, but yeah, when you're making a game, it's even harder. Like when you come back to it, it's so confusing. There was like hundreds and hundreds of maps and characters and random scripts. And I don't even know where all the resources came from because it was like something I worked on in community and so it's really hard to get back into it. And I'm like, maybe I need a smaller scope project for getting back into it. And that actually became Rockland. Um, but one thing I am planning on doing is releasing what I have so far um, and then just telling people how it ends. Um, so I have that game file. I just got to patch it up so that you don't like get stuck, you know, and with the, the caveat <laughs> that it's an unfinished game and a lot of the later battles and stuff aren't balanced. And yeah.